So before we've gone over some properties of common logs, let's look at some properties of natural logs. No, not those kind of natural logs. Um, what we have here is if you take the natural log of one, that's going to be equal to zero. If you take the natural log of e, well that's kind of like an e to the first power, then you get an e. If you take a natural log of e to any power, say that's a three, then basically what happens is your natural log and your three cancel out, or sorry, natural log and your e cancel out, you just end up getting a three. They are inverse properties. Um, same as any other log, if you get a natural log of x equal to a natural log of y, then that just means whatever is over on the left is equal to whatever is um, on the right. So in this case, you would just say x is equal to eight and solve it like that. So if we go to example eight, for a here, um, we're going to rewrite each expression. This natural log and this base e just cancel out, and you end up just getting the answer of one third. For part b, this e is raised to the power of natural log. So that means that you're going to be able to just cancel out your e and your natural log, and your answer is 8. Now in this case, you have a 15 times natural log of 1. Well, we know that the natural log of 1 is equal to 0. So if we take 15 times 0, that is just going to give us 0. And for part D, you get the natural log of E. Well, we already know that those cancel out, and you just get a 1 on top. You don't get a 0. This is not an E to the 0. That is a 1. So you get a 1 over 6. Nothing happens with that 6. So your answer actually ends up not being 0. But, you know, some people make, like put a 0 here. That is a 1 over 6. Haha. <laughs> That's funny, get it? Because of natural logs. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha.